Hey everyone, welcome to today's workout. My name is Melissa. Today we're going to do an upper body resistance band workout. Um, you, if you don't have a band today, just body weight or really light weights is perfectly fine. You'll still get some of the same activations. Otherwise, you can use any kind of resistance band you want. Um, I have a, band, a yoga band. I have a resistance band with handles. You can either use the flat resistance band or rounded tube um, or if you have an infinity band. So find what works for you. If you don't, again, if you don't have a band, totally fine. Um, you can modify as we go. Um, I'll try to show you with a couple different options today for the bands. Um, for now, just pick up whatever you're using. Again, if you're using body weight, that's totally fine. We're just going to get into a warm up. Short workout for you today. We just want to get the muscles of the upper body activated, strengthened, lengthened, and moving. All right. So let's start with feet under the hips. Roll the shoulders up, back, and down. And if you're using a resistance band, grab it, grab it about midway through so that the band is even. Put a little tension on it so shoulders or hands are shoulder width apart. Squeeze the shoulder blades together. Wrap that core around you front to back. And we're just going to start with some nice, easy deadlifts. So two down and then two up. Tip from the hip. Lead with the chest. Feel the shoulder blades still active in the back. And keep moving. Wrap that core. Feel length in the back of the hamstrings. And feel a squeeze in your glutes. One more time. All right, hold it up. Roll shoulders. Bring the band in front of you. Just a very small activation with the shoulder blades. Gently pull the band apart. Feel the shoulder blades come together. Little squeeze. Keep it going. Keep breathing through the movement. One more time. Bring it down. All right, back to that deadlift. Two, two. Now upright row, elbows lead. Elbows up. Bring it back down. Tip forward. Upright row. Two single deadlifts. We tip from the hip twice, and then we pull the band to the low chest. Keep squeezing that band or pulling it apart so you feel your shoulder blades engaged. A couple more. Keep wrapping that core. Pump through your belly every time you inhale and exhale. Last time for each. All right, bring it up to the top. So our hands long, or arms long, overhead, <coughs> bow and arrow side to side. Vertical bow and arrow, bring it down. Pull the band towards your hip, and the band is just in front of your face. A couple more, we're still in warm up mode. Hold at the top, roll the shoulders back, Try both, two down and two up. Nice and controlled, feel the shoulder blades come together. Wrap that core, double pulse. Down twice, slow to the top. Double pulse, slow to the top. One more time. Bring it back down, <coughs> shoulders back. Bring the band in front of you, tension between the shoulder blades, little twist, side to side, lift the heel. We're not going fast yet. Keep wrapping that core. Shoulder blades should be feeling a little fatigued. Couple more. Last two. Last one. We're still in warm-up mode. Relax those shoulders a little bit, roll them out. Re-wrap that core. Feet just outside of hip width. Option to drop the band or fold it in half. We're just gonna hold it in place. Or you can bring your hands up to your chest. Let's squat it out. Hips back and down, knees forward. We'll be doing just a little bit of lower body today, but we're mostly gonna focus on that upper body. Little pulse. Just a small pulse in the bottom. Give me eight, seven, six, 
six, five, four, three, two, one. Shake it out. All right, we feel the warm. Let's grab that band. We're gonna get into a pushing motion now. So we're gonna step one foot, the back foot under the band, either about halfway or if you're gonna grab the outside of the band, you can step, you can adjust the length of it to make it easier or harder. So you're gonna take a modified lunge. So one foot forward, one foot back. Press that back heel down. If you're using one band, drop the inside band so it hugs the outside of your foot. Now adjust the band as needed. Grip either the handle if you're using a handle uh, resistance band or grab the end of your yoga band. Either place the hand, other hand on the hip or we're gonna push with it. So we're just gonna push forward and back. Forward and back. Drive the palm forward to feel the chest activate. Squeeze. And as you pull the elbow back, feel the shoulder blades engage. The reason we're doing one band here is to trigger a little more abdominal response. We need to wrap our core from front to back so that we don't rotate. Give me eight more. Seven. Four more. Three. Last two. Last one. Little pulses. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Pull it back. Shake it out. We're going to do that again, but this time we're going to press on a diagonal. Place the hand on the hip. So we're activating it a little more in the shoulder now. Nice, easy press. My kitty was saying hi to the camera in case you didn't see her. Little pulses. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Shake it out. How's that shoulder? <coughs> Whew, reset. Back to the chest press. Other arm if you want it. Nice easy presses. Really start to engage through the chest. You're going to feel a little bit in the back of the shoulder. Pull that shoulder blade in to try to keep it in the chest. Little pulses. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Shake that out. How are you feeling? All right. Reaching up to the opposite corner. Breathe through it. Four more. Ooh, feel that burn. Last two. Little pulses, here we go. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Shake that out. <laughs> Let's switch to the other side. All right, adjust the band as needed. Reset the posture, wrap the core, sit into your glutes, and we're gonna start to push forward and back. Feel that palm press against either the handle or the end of the band. It's gonna trigger a little more in your shoulder blade. Now, if you're using the weight, make sure we've got light weights on. Same movement. All right, little pulses. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Shake that out. <coughs> We're gonna bring it to the corner now. Overhead, here we go. Reach long. Trying not to rotate. Nice and controlled motion. Little pulses. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Shake that out. Reset back to the chest press. Wrap that core. Singles. Here we go. Forward and back. Four more. Last two. Last one. Little pulses. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Shake that out. All right, back to the corner. Reset the chest, core on. Here we go, singles. Eight, seven, six, four more. Are you wrapping that core 
Avoid that rotation through the trunk. Little pulses. Eight, seven, six, five, breathe. Shake it out. All right, how are you feeling? Let's give those shoulders and that chest a little break. All right, shoulders back. We're gonna step the foot in the middle. Either grab both ends of the band or the outside of the band. Back heel lifted, shoulders back, wrap the core. A nice, easy lunge. Make sure you have a little tension on the band. Singles, down and up. Sit into the glute. Knee follows that second and third toe. Keep wrapping that core, pressing through the heel to turn the glute on. Little pulses, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, take it up. Hold. We're gonna pulse it one more time. Bring it down, give me eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. All right, grab down your band about halfway or a third. Start to pull the elbow back. Elbow straight back. Sit into the glutes. Wrap the core. Feel the shoulder blade engage. If you need the option, to help counterbalance, take the other arm back. Squeeze both shoulder blades together. Just a few more. Remember those pulses? Eight pulses. Eight, seven, six, five. Short range of motion. Bring it down. Reset the shoulders. <coughs> We're gonna add the lunge back in with the pull. Here we go. Singles. Keep squeezing the shoulder blades together as you sit into the glute. This time, pulse lunge. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Bring it up, go again. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Just singles. Four more, keep wrapping that core. Glute on, last two, last one. Bring it up, shake it out. All right, give that shoulder a rest again. Step, halfway point between your band. <coughs> grab the outside or adjust as you need to. Grab both bands if you want it a little harder. A little more tensile strength. All right, just single lunge. Put a little tension on that band. Sit into the glute. Make sure we're dropping the knees to 90 degrees. Push through that heel. Keep it going. Last two. Last one. All right, grab the band about halfway down or maybe a third of the way. Reset the shoulders, wrap the core. <coughs> Here we go, we're gonna row. Option is to put the hand on the hip or both arms go back. Stay with the singles for now. Do you feel your shoulder blade engaging? Think about trying to squeeze the shoulder blades together. Eight more. Four to go. Sit into that loop for support. All right, pulse it. Four, three, two, and one. Roll through the shoulders. We're gonna add the lunge back in. Row and lunge, just singles. Bring it down. Pull the elbow back. Four more. All right, seven pulses. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Bring it up, go again. Seven, six, five, four, 
three, two, one, bring it up, singles. Wrap that core. Nice work. Keep pushing that knee to that second and third toe. Sit into that glute. Pulses. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. One more time. Seven, six, three, two, one. Shake it out. Awesome job. <coughs> How are you feeling? How's the shoulder blades, the shoulders? Give them a little stretch if you need to. Round the back. <coughs> All right. We're gonna go back into that pushing motion. Step that back foot on it again. About halfway through. Now you can try both fans or just the single. Pick your option. All right. Wrap that band, reset the shoulders, pull the elbows back. We're gonna start with a two-two press. Here we go. Bring it forward, forward, then back, back. Engage the chest, squeeze it together and open right here. Squeeze together and open. Singles. 14, 13. Eight more, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hold here, reset. <coughs> All right, grab the other band. We have upright rows, sit into the glutes, elbows lead. We go up, up, down, down. Bring it up, up, down, down. Pulse it at the top. 16, 15, 14, 13. Let the elbows lead the way. Three, two, one. All right, either both bands or drop the inside band. <coughs> back to that chest press. Bring it forward, forward, back, back. Open, squeeze, now open the chest. Couple more slow ones. Really wrap that core. Everything moving together. 16 fast singles. 16, 15. Eight more. Drive the palms forward. Three, two, one. Shake it out, switch sides. Step about halfway through the band. Adjust the tensile strength by stepping further away from the hand if you need to. Split that stance. Sit into the glutes. Reset the shoulders. Two, two press. Two forward and then two back. Wrap that core. Everything square to the front. Stay with the two, two press. Couple more. Breathe into that belly. All right, 16 fast singles. 16, 15. Pull those elbows back. Eight more, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. <coughs> Grab that other band. <coughs> Adjust that stance. Upright rows. Pull the elbows up. Wrap that core, set that posture. Nice and controlled, lift out of the chest. Hands find mid chest or low chest. All right, let's pulse it, pulse it. 14, 13. Eight more. Four, three, two, and one, put it down. Option to double the band if you wanna make it a little more challenging. All right, two, two press. Nice and controlled, squeeze the chest together, now open. 
Wrap that core so everything is stable and in line. We've got those 16 fast singles. Here we go. 16, 15, 14. Eight more. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Oh, it's burning. Nice work. Shake it out. All right, we have chest flies. Grab the bend about mid-range. Roll the shoulders back, feet under the hips. All right, tip forward, wrap the core. Chest fly, open, open, close, close. So the band comes close to the chest as your hands go apart. Feel the shoulder blades pull together. Core is locked on. Now, if you need to, adjust the tensile strength by giving a little bit of slack between the hands. A couple more slow ones. Keep length in your spine by tucking the chin in and make sure your glutes are on. We don't want this in the low back. All right, alternating singles. Pull the elbow back. Wrap that core for stability. Double pulse each side, double. Feel the shoulder blades squeeze together. Kind of press that band into the hook of your thumb to help trigger a little more of the shoulder blade. Last couple, coming up. Last two, last one. Shake it out. All we have are singles. Get ready, to forward and fly. Tip, fly, together, rise. Tip, fly, together, and rise. Pull them apart. Feel the band come close. Shoulder blades engaged. Four more. Three. Last two. Last one. All right, let's give the upper body a quick break. Here's what we're gonna do. Step the feet into the bands. Now you can keep the bands straight up or cross them over and bring them up onto the hips. Shoulder blades back, lift the chest, wrap the core. Feel that tension between the feet. If you need to give yourself a little more slack, sit into the glutes. We're gonna walk laterally side to side. In four, three, two, here we go. We go four, three, two, other high. Push against the sides of your feet. Split the band apart. Make sure we're sitting into the glutes and wrapping that core. Four, three, two, one. Go again. Keep it going. Only you two, one, and stop right here in the middle. Alternating kickbacks, sink. Heel back, sink down. Drive the heel back as you shift the weight into your other glute. Keep lifting out of the chest for high posture. Keep those hips in line. Breathing into that belly, wrap that core around you. Shift your weight to your right leg, heel back. Reset the posture, reset the bands if you need to. Optional, lower the arms to give the shoulders a little slack. Start to kick back. Heel drives. Eight more. Eight, seven, four, three. Quick switch to the other side. Kick it back. 15, 14. That front knee is loaded, or that front glute is loaded. Make sure the knee is behind the toe. Six. Five, four, three, two, one. Pull back, reset, adjust where you need to. Arms can be here or here. We're gonna walk one more time. Four, three, two, one. Other side, four, three, two, one. Keep going. Couple more each way. 
Are you sitting into the glutes still? Push the knees out. Go the other way one more time. And slowly come on up. Nice work. A little shake. Let's finish up with a little bit of core work. All right? Come on down to your mat. Let's lay on our bellies to start. All right. Place the band under one knee. Oh, actually. Yeah, let's place it under the knee. All right, what we're gonna do, wrists and shoulders are in line, knees and hips in line. And what we're gonna do is pull the band on a diagonal. Forward and back. Knees are on the floor. Tuck that chin so the spine is long. Drive the thumb to the opposite corner. Wrap your core. We're working on those muscular slings in our posterior chain. Last one, pull it down. All right. Take that band to the opposite foot this time and hold it in the opposite hand. All right, little extensions. Lift and lift the heel, nice and controlled. Now you can take that opposite arm out if you want. Nice and controlled. Wrap that core. Last two. Last one. All right, side to side. Tap the toe, bring it out and in. Everything is trembling. We need to really wrap that core here from front to back. Pull the rib cage in on each exhale. Whew, just a couple more. All right, bring it down. Bring it to the other side this time. Place it under the knee again. Who's trembling throughout the core? Put it on the center point. You can either grab the outside band or grab both to make it a little harder. Everything square to the floor. Make sure we have tension on the band. Just a little extension to the corner. Make sure Everything's square to the floor. Wrap that core and drive the thumb away. And if it's becoming too difficult, you can always drop the inside band to take some tension away. Another option is no band at all. We want to feel that shoulder blade engage. Drive the thumb. Four. Three, last two, last one. All right, put it on the opposite foot this time. If you have bands with a handle, place your foot in the handle, or you can grab both handles and put it at the halfway point, whatever kind of suits you for the equipment you're using. All right, grab the opposite band, or grab the end of the band so that there's tension. We're going to extend that leg. Everything square to the floor. Make sure you have a good grip on it. All right, adjust as needed. All right, once you have it, extend that leg, little lifts. Everything square to the floor. Really wrap that core. 16 more. Give me eight. Seven, you're gonna feel your hip trying to lift. Really wrap that core so everything's square to the floor. All right, arch side to side. It's a small lift and tap. Who's trembling? Control that motion. Pull the pelvic floor up. Just a few more. Give me four. Three, last two, last one. Oh my goodness, all right, put that band down. 
flip on over. We don't need the band anymore. Just pure abdominals. Pull the toes in, glute heels towards the glutes. We're just going to reach for the heels side to side. Lift the shoulders, tuck the chin. Start to pulse it. Three, two, one, switch. Three, two, one, and switch. Keep lifting the shoulder blades off the floor. Three, two, one, and switch. Couple more. Last time. All right, reset that core wrap. Front to back, breathe into that belly. When you exhale and squeeze those abdominals, you should feel your low back kiss the mat. Palms up by your side. Wrap that core, alternate toe taps. Every time you exhale, squeeze those abdominals a little tighter. Every time you inhale, you give way a little relaxation. Nice and controlled. You can stay with the toe taps or extend the legs. Nice and controlled. If you are wrapping your core and turning it on front to back, your legs shouldn't feel too heavy here. It's when we just pull the belly button to the spine and we don't engage the back abdominals, that corset, that transverse abdominus, the legs will feel heavier. If you're having trouble activating your TVA, stay with the toe taps. A few more. Four, three, two, one. Hug the knees in. Let's stretch it out. All right, give me a little bit in the hamstrings. We really tightened up those hip flexors today with some of that side to side lateral motion with band. Place that ankle over the thigh, gentle push away. How'd that feel? Next time, Try adjusting your band or grabbing a stronger band that has a little more tensile strength. Or try it with light weights. See how it feels with that motion without the resistance band. Switch sides, heel to the ceiling, knee towards the chest, breathe through the stretch. Place that foot over the thigh, push the knee away. Reach through the window, pull it towards you. What we really need, let's roll up now, is to stretch through those shoulders and chest. So come into a child's pose, sit into the hips, just exhale, get comfy, wiggle around in it. When you're ready, just uh, thread one hand under the other. Sit back into the stretch. Take that same arm all the way out to the other side for a little chest stretch. Open that chest. All right. Take the other arm through. One more breath here. Take that same arm out. Open that chest. Slowly roll up through your spine, a little cat-cow stretch. Round the back, take everything to neutral. Round the back, and take it to neutral. Slowly climb up those thighs, open up that chest one more time. And now round the back, hands together. All right. That's all we got. Thanks so much. Hope you enjoyed the workout. If you have any questions or comments, post them below. Um, any requests for next time, we will probably work on all mostly low body and core and back on the next set of resistance band workouts. All right, we'll see you then. Have a good one.